Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I'm really excited because there are some leaked images of new Wave 2, I'm guessing, Barbie Extra Dolls. And as you may know if you've seen me talk about the Barbie Extra Dolls before, I love this line. It's such a great line. We just need to give Mattel a round of applause for the Barbie Extra line because I know I come down hard on Mattel quite a lot because I think the quality of a lot of their dolls, and especially Barbie, has been really depleting recently. But the Barbie Extra line is a glimmer of hope. These dolls are funky, they're cool, they're colourful, they're fashionable, and they're really nice quality. And they're not too expensive. Anyway, before we talk about these dolls, I just need to warn you that the picture quality is pretty awful. Sorry about that. I was gonna wait until some better quality images came out, um, but I just couldn't wait to talk about these dolls. I think they're really great. And here they are! What do you guys think? Let me know your initial thoughts in the comments below. I think they're really great. Like, they're just- th this is everything I want out of a doll. You know, there's articulation- <gasps> They have the made-to-move bodies, you guys. Well, at least we can see they have the made-to-move knees. They have made-to-move knees. That means there are two joints in the knee, so they can bend their leg the whole way back, instead of to, like, a right angle. Well done, Mattel. Well, well, well done. I also think these looks are really cool. Um, I think even cooler than the, than the first wave, which is great. It's just so brilliant to see Mattel improving and listening to the fans and listening to consumers and making the dolls better with every new release. Um, that's what we want to see. I'm so happy, and I cannot wait for these dolls to come out. Anyway, let's talk about them individually. Uh, like I said, the picture quality is pretty awful, but you get an idea of what's going on here. Here is the Barbie in the line. Um, I think she's really cool. She's got a kind of denim... It's got teddy bears on it. Denim, pink denim with teddy bears on um, jacket and shorts. Now, the sleeves of the jacket are, like, big and fluffy and fleecy. I mean, I live for it. I think it's so cool. The Barbie Extra Dolls always remind me of kind of things that people in the UK would wear to music festivals. And I guess in America as well, maybe to like Coachella or something. But this is definitely a look you would see at a festival or at a pride parade. They're very colourful, very fun, um, but not too colourful like the, um, like the Barbie Dreamtopia dolls. The colours are still harmonious. I love all the little accessories. Uh, it looks like she's got a necklace on or something. You can't really see what's going on underneath the jacket, but that's fine. She's got a little bag and a massive, like, knuckle duster ring that looks like it says Barbie on it. And she's got some high-heeled shoes. And long, crimped, pastel hair. I live for this. I love how long all their hair is as well. I've wanted Barbie to kind of embrace the long, outrageous, over-the-top hair for, for a really long time. And she comes with a little pet, a little kind of cartoony pet. Um, I really don't care for the pets, so whatever. Here is the next doll we're going to talk about, and wow. Um, she is so cool. This is the first one of the curvy dolls that I've really liked. In the first wave, they, I thought their fashions were like not as nice as the, um, as the other dolls. But this one, I think, looks absolutely stunning. Um, I love her silver Dot Martens. I love, um, you can't really see it because her hair's obscuring it a little bit, but her top has, like, frills going down the sleeves, which I think looks really cool. And I love the tool material. It looks really soft. Um, she has a yellow kind of fluffy wrap, which I'll be interested to see what that looks like on. It might kind of, like, crush the ruffles a little bit, but that's fine. I like her hair. There's a part of me that, wish it was, that wishes it was symmetrical, but um, it's still really cool. Um, what an amazing look. This one... I love her so much. You guys, I'm in love. She's just so cool. Now, I've said before in the past that I don't like it when they use two different patterns on a doll. Like, I think it looks clashing. But here it works really well because the patterns are kind of similar enough. They are basically the exact same pattern, just on a different background. One's got kind of an orange background with flowers, or, with flowers on. One's got like a kind of teal background with flowers on. And the florals just look brilliant. Um, she's wearing like a kind of tracksuit sort of thing underneath. Um, and then a kind of what looks like printed denim jacket on top. She just looks so cool. And you know what? Florals for spring. It really is groundbreaking. 
<laughs> and her hair, her braids look amazing. I can't wait to feel them and touch them. She's got like strappy pink high heels. And her face is stunning as well. This doll kind of looks like Halle Bailey. This would be a good face mold if, if someone was gonna make like a custom of the new Little Mermaid doll. This would be a good face sculpt. Um, this is probably my least favorite. She's still cool. She's probably the last one I'll buy if I buy her at all. She's gone for a little bit of a kind of K-pop style, I would say. Um, not a big fan of the visor. I quite like her pigtails, they're quite cute. Not a massive fan of all the kind of graffiti on her top, um, the kind of doodling. And then the leg warmers. No. No, no. The pleated skirt is quite cool. She's got fluffy sleeves similar to the Barbie in the line. And I think it was executed better on the Barbie. This one, the print on the sleeves kind of looks like a disease. Yeah, it doesn't look intentional. I don't know, I don't, I, this one is my least favorite. And this one, she is so cool. I love her. And I'm really glad that they're experimenting with different shapes. Um, in the Barbie line, I feel like they tend to stick to the same kind of cut, the same kind of silhouette quite a lot. Here we've got a kind of long uh, t-shirt dress kind of thing. I don't like it when they print words on the clothes, but this one I can deal with, it's fine. I can't read what it says, it says something, something the stars. Maybe, I don't know, like reach for the star. I don't know. She's got a yellow fluffy jacket on. She's got one side of her hair shaved, which I feel is a little bit out of date. Do people still do that? I don't know, I remember that being really popular about five years ago. But I love her long brown hair coming down the other side. And I love how she's got loads of clips in it. Um, and her big hoop earrings are very cool. Her platform trainers are really cool. She's just stunning. She's just stunning. These dolls are stunning. So those are the new Barbie Extra dolls. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. Let me know what you think of the previous Barbie Extra dolls. Let me know which one of these dolls are your favorite. I wanna hear from you guys. Um, before we finish, I just thought we'd really quickly touch on some new Ken dolls which are coming out. Here they are. They're really adorable. You know what, it would be great if we could have a Ken doll in the Barbie Extra line. Make it happen, Mattel. Make it happen. They look really cute. Going from left to right, um, the first one looks kind of punky with his... I really like the trousers. They're really cool with like a kind of tartan look. The sleeveless top, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's got like an acid wash. Um, and he's the kind of skinny body, body sculpt. The one in the middle is really adorable. Um, this is the kind of outfit I would wear, like a baggy top and shorts. What is going on with the shoes? Are those meant to be socks? Interesting shoes. Um, and then the Ken in the line. The print on the t-shirt, I'm not a massive fan of. I'm not a massive fan of. But the shorts and the trainers are cool. Um, what do you guys think of these new Ken dolls? I'm guessing they're going to be part of the Fashionista line. Let me know in the comments. Okay, doll fans, so now we've spoken about the Barbie Extra dolls and some new Ken dolls. Um, please let me know what you think of all the dolls in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, check me out on Instagram, and I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye! <laughs>